Diana, you're chasing bats. Something is killing a whole lot of them. What do you got? That's right. I'm in Flemington, New Jersey, checking in on a little boy's bat cam. As you might recall from our previous story, the Williams family is conducting a science project in their son's bedroom window, monitoring the bats that come and go. It's actually a vital project for the state because to put it simply, the world is in a bat crisis. It's a fungal disease attacking little brown bats. The bats infected with the disease are weakened and if untreated are killed altogether. So like, if you look at the difference in the two forearms, this one oh. looks like it has a little something on it. Okay. It's, they're just like cuffs. Ecologist Stephanie Fagan says the disease first surfaced in 2009. Since then, the little brown bat population in Hibernia Mine, New Jersey's largest bat site, has dropped from 20,000 bats to about 460 bats. That's in just six years. If we were to lose all of our bat species, um, it would be devastating and irreplaceable. So why does this all matter? Two words, pest control. Bats can reportedly consume up to 8,000 moths, mosquitoes, and other flying insects in just one night. This is gonna be a big deal. Um, it's gonna increase our pesticide and herbicide usage and you know instead of letting bats be able to do their thing and just eat the insects that they want to eat. Is she saying that the pesticides that people are using to kill the insects are diminishing the food supply for the bats? No, no, she says that uh, because as a result of the fewer bats in oh, we're gonna need uh, to use the environment, more. Okay, we're I gonna see. need to buy more pesticides. I and see. actually, it's reported that farmers will have to spend billions more each year just to combat the problem. How do you actually go and treat these bats? It's not like you can rub some Lamisil on their wings or whatever. Like, I don't understand how you cure a fungus disease in a bat. Two things they're trying. One is native soil bacteria that is supposed to inhibit the growth. And then they're also looking to put a paste on the back of these bats. But if you go and treat an entire cave, then you're killing other very helpful bacteria that lives in there. So they can't necessarily go into a cave and just spray the whole thing. One of the most abundant animals in America is the chicken. <laughs> and we eat chicken all the time. And 19 billion chickens can't be wrong. Maybe we need to apply a commercial value to the bats and you might get some farmers that will breed their own bats. Well, maybe. I, I think it's interesting to note that the big brown bats have actually increased in their population as a result of the little brown bats dying off. So it could just be, you know, survival of the fittest, as you said. It works. Thanks, Diana.